Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. We're here at the Stereo Ahead spacecraft viewing the sun from the far left-hand side of Earth. And you just saw a long duration, very strong C-class solar flare that is headed towards Earth. We're going to come back and take a look at the possible arrival time of that very large CME that sent a shockwave through the solar system. First here at the website, looking at the Schumann resonance. This data here will increase exponentially upon the arrival of the very large shockwave that's headed towards Earth. Looking at the Yellowstone supervolcano Caldera, didn't have data here for a few days. I can see they got it now back up and running, and it still looks pretty much the same as it always has, a steady flow of energy around the supervolcano seismos at the Caldera. As long as we don't see all of these dark blue, I'd say we're in pretty good shape. Now back to the stereo ahead spacecraft. Again, this is off to the left-hand side of Earth. If we're viewing Earth, Looking from the spacecraft, the Earth is right over here in the direct path of that very strong, that was a long duration, very strong sea flare. Right there it is. That's Mercury, in case you're wondering what that bright spot is up there. That's Mercury. Here it is over here at the, the SOHO Lasco C3 instrument. There went the solar flare. Again, visible from SOHO. That is Mercury going behind the sun. That was a 360 degree halo. We'll see it again here at the SOHO Lasco C3. Not only did it go towards the Earth, went in all directions. Headed towards planet Earth. Arrival time, literally any minute. We're over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, and here you can see the solar flare come off of the sun. This is known as the Enlil Spiral. Watch, you're going to see it come off uh, very quickly. It was a long duration solar flare. This is Earth right here underneath my cursor. That should be arriving literally any hour. Once it does, we're going to see a big change in the estimated planetary K index. We will see some type of geomagnetic storm, whether it be a, a K3, maybe a K2, could even possibly be stronger according to spaceweather.com. They're saying geomagnetic storm warning, it's coming. A coronal mass ejection, CME is headed towards Earth, and a geomagnetic storm is possible when it arrives later today, that would be the 9th, or tomorrow on the 10th. NOAA forecasters expect the most intense disturbance to occur on the 10th, with peak levels near G3 levels. If that happens, auroras could be sighted in the United States as far south as Illinois and Oregon. Does it mean much more than that? No, not necessarily. CMEs are good for Earth as, in my humble opinion, they sweep away and, and deflect harmful cosmic rays that the Earth has been bombarded with lately due to the lack of sunspots and overall solar activity coming towards planet Earth. We need sunspots and solar activity. So to me, in my humble opinion, this will be somewhat beneficial. Granted, we don't want to see a very large K9 geomagnetic storm with a X90 you know, solar flare. We don't want to see things like that. But a general uptick in the solar activity, Earth-directed, I think it's going to be a good thing. It's going to deflect and keep away some of the more harmful cosmic rays that we have been seeing an increase in over the last couple of years. Once again, here at the Enlil Spiral, you can see right there, contact green is planet Earth looking at the strongest energy on the 10th, arriving sometime on the 9th, probably within the next few hours, I would say no later than midnight tonight. You can see it's moving at a pretty good pace, right there making contact, probably somewhere around midnight Eastern time. But anyway, it is in route, should be making contact with Earth's shields any minute. Once again, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Over here at Issawa, looking at the magnetic shields, this is the magnetopause position. And once that CME does make contact with the shields, you'll see this light up red and it will compress. It will create what's called a compression event and it just pushes down on the magnetic shields and the shields are doing what they're supposed to do. They're going to react 
to the solar activity and that's not necessarily a bad thing this here's the magnetosphere position solar wind velocity right now everything looks pretty normal because the strong storm has not arrived yet but once the storm arrives we'll do an update and take a look and we'll revisit these instruments over here at Isua, and they will look totally different like I said, you'll see a compression event over here at the magnetopause, which we've seen before, and more than likely with the increase in activity of solar cycle 25, we'll definitely see some more. This is the magnetosphere battress. This is the position of the, the Y-cut. And again, right now, things look pretty good. And we'll come back here in a few hours and check these instruments and see how they're reacting once they start to feel the pressure from the high-speed solar flare CME that's headed towards planet Earth. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.